do you see signs of easing at all these global supply chain bottlenecks or has the COVID situation in China worsened? Most people talk about uh, uh, topic is the poor congestion in U.S., especially the LA and LB, Los Angeles and Long Beach. Uh, maybe early of the, this year, uh, the shift waiting for the, the port uh, at that time, more than 100 ships. But right now, the, the shift waiting uh, reduced to less than 40. So I think this is a good sign that the port congestion has been uh, easy a little bit. And people talk about the new uh, threat because of the like, lockdown in Shanghai. Uh, but people don't understand that because the government also uh, pay attention of the regular uh, uh, the shipping industry. And so that as our point of view, uh, we are like the daily operation, nothing being interrupted at all. Mm. So the Shanghai port continue to run as usual. How long are your containers sitting idle in Shanghai ports though? Do you foresee any delays? Compared to like last year, uh, right now the waiting time is two or three days. But compared to like Los Angeles, we are waiting like uh, 10 to 14 days. Mm. So two or three days is not a severe situation. Are you concerned about a slowdown in the economy in China? How do you see that way in the industry? Uh, basically, a uh, slowdown in China economy, I, I think everybody agree in this. But don't forget that China is the global, is the world factory. Uh, so we're more concerned about its uh, factory rather than its consumption. <laughs> Of course, consumption is also very important. But right now, our current uh, business pattern is we shipping from Shanghai, from Asia uh, to US, to Europe. That's our final destination. So that's more important. Do you see the, the China lockdowns worsening the global supply chain bottlenecks right now? Is that just a short-term problem? Or do you think that this could last for the rest of the year? Yeah, we believe this is a short-term phenomenon. Uh, because uh, I think everybody would agree, all the government, they don't want the COVID-19 to spread, uh, become more severe. But just that uh, maybe all the government, they have different approach. Mm. And China government right now, they decide to maintain the, the previous policy. That is the net zero. They don't allow any single cases. But as you can uh, see, besides China, all the other countries are gradually opening the the, the border, so try to survive with the uh, pandemic. Mm -hmm. So I think gradually in the second half of the year, China would somehow maybe adjust their policy a little bit. So we don't foresee the China economy slowdown will continue. Mm -hmm. Actually, we expect the economy to rebound in the second half of the year. The IMF, though, still expects global trade to slow this year. Do you see any signs of, of softening demand? across industries? Is that a key uncertainty for the business? Yes, I agree that the, the trade uh, is going to slow down a little bit. And this is due to the war in Ukraine and also the uh, delay uh, demand from the COVID. Uh, but I think this is uh, just a short-term phenomenon. Mm. Uh, overall, if you look at the, the IF or the World Bank uh, forecast, I guess the next year, the GDP growth will resume the momentum of recovery. So we are rather optimistic that the business will come uh, very stable.